What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm Wallace from A3 Academy, and today's podcast is going to be on solute concentration, or more importantly, how you measure it. So, one day I was walking in the park eating a celery, and I thought, how do you measure the concentration of a solution? Well, this podcast is going to tell you everything about that. So, suppose I had a solution of some stuff in a jar, and in it I had, say, 50 grams of H2O or water, and 10 grams of salt or NaCl. So since there's more of the H2O, that would make it the solvent. And since there's less of the NaCl, that makes that the solute. So how do you measure the concentration of the solute? Well, the first thing you might do is divide the grams of solute by the total grams of the solution. When you do that, you get 10 grams of solute or NaCl per 60 grams total of the solution. That's 50 grams of water plus 10 grams of NaCl. And when you divide them, you get 16.7%. Now this number, when you divide the grams of solute by the grams of solution, is called percent composition by mass. So percent composition by mass is just equal to the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the total. So a lot of times the percent composition by mass is really small, so we have these different units to reflect that. The first is parts per million, or ppm, that's equal to just the percent composition by mass multiplied by a million. And then we have parts per billion, or PPB, and that's composition by mass times a billion. Now it's important to note that when you see percent composition by mass and weight percent, they're the same thing. So that's just important to know. So if you look at our original solution, we had 10 grams of NaCl and we had 60 grams of total, which gave us 16.7% mass of NaCl which is equal to 167,000 parts per million or 167 million parts per billion. So percent composition by mass is really easy to calculate but it doesn't really help you when you're looking at things like reactions. That's why we have something called the mole ratio and the mole ratio is just equal to the moles of the solute divided by the total amount of moles in the solution. So in our original example we had 10 grams of NaCl which is equal to 0.17 moles of NaCl, since you know the molar mass. Then we had 50 grams of H2O plus 10 grams of NaCl. And since you know the molar masses of both, we know that's 3.0 moles of total solution. We divide that and we get 5.7%. So in the certain solution, the mole ratio of NaCl is 5.7%. But the most common way of measuring concentration is molarity. Molarity is equal to the amount of moles of the solute divided by the total volume. So again, if we took the original example, we had 10 grams of NaCl. We know that's 0.17 moles of NaCl. Then we had our total solution, 50 grams of H2O and 10 grams of NaCl. And since we know the densities of H2O and NaCl, we can find out that the volume of both of these combined is 0.054 liters. Now remember, with molarity, the number on the top always must be measured in moles, and the number on the bottom must always be measured in liters, so keep that in mind. Once again, we divide them, and we find out that the molarity is equal to 3.1 molar, which is shown with a capital M. Molar is just a short way of saying moles per liter, so whenever you see the capital M there, you should immediately think moles per liter, but you can write it shorthand as capital M. So in our original solution, the concentration of NaCl, the molarity of NaCl, is 3.1 molar. Now the molarity is pretty important when we talk about things like dilution. Dilution is when you decrease the concentration of a solution by adding more solvent. So in the case of the solution with NaCl and water, we could dilute that solution by adding more water to it. And we can link the molarity and volume of a solution with this little equation here. M1V1 equals M2V2, where M is the molarity and V is the volume. So to demonstrate this equation, first imagine that we took our original solution with 50 grams of H2O and 10 grams of NaCl, and we diluted it by adding more water. So now we have 80 grams of H2O and 10 grams of NaCl. So what is the molarity of the solution? Well, by using the densities of both H2O and NaCl, we can find out that the total volume of this entire solution is 0.084 liters. We also know that from the beginning, before we diluted the solution, the molarity was 3.1 molar, and that the volume was 0.054 liters. Our new volume is 0.084 liters, and we're trying to solve for the molarity. By plugging it into the new equation, we can find the new molarity, which is 2 molar, which means that in our new solution, the molarity of NaCl is 2 molar.
But in the lab, it's hard to prepare a solution if you know just the molarity, which is why they invented the molality, which is kind of spelled similarly, but it's completely different. Molality is equal to the amount of moles of the solute divided by the mass of the solvent. Notice it's not the mass of the total, it's the mass of the solvent. So with our original example, we had 10 grams of NaCl, which is equal to 0.17 moles of NaCl. Then we had 50 grams of H2O. Now we divide them. Now, molality is always measured in moles per kilogram. So the number on top must always be measured in moles, and the number on the bottom must always be measured in kilograms. So we divide them and we get that the molality is 3.4 molal, which is shown with a lowercase italicized m. So our original solution here with 50 grams of H2O and 10 grams of NaCl, the molality of NaCl is 3.4 molal. So now that you know these different ways of measuring and calculating solute concentration, that's all for today. I'm Wallace from A3 Academy, and as always, the more you know, the better you are. Drives me crazy. Drives me crazy.